fire rips through an apartment building, killing three people. It happened early this morning in Winchester, just east of Lexington. WLKY's Carolyn Callahan is at the apartment complex on Spring Mist Lane with the latest. Carolyn? Jennifer, you can still smell the charred building in the air here in Winchester. The fire happened early this morning. What's left of the building is behind me, and it's basically just some charred wood, some melted siding, and people here say they couldn't believe it when they saw what was happening. Three people died in this fire. Two died here at the scene. One other person died at a hospital, we are told. Six other people were injured, some of them. Critically, we want to show you cell phone video that was taken by someone here this morning. You can see the flames engulfing the building. Neighbors tell me those flames were 15, 20, 25 feet shooting up into the air with a big orange glow. Andrew Cunningham lives across the parking lot from the apartment building that was on fire. The fire woke him up around 145. All of a sudden, I saw this big gulf of flame out on the across the street and I woke my mom up and I just told her what was going on and as soon as I got out here the fire trucks showed up. We are told that people were jumping out of the windows. We talked with one man who lived in that building where the fire happened. He said it was his dog who's named Brat that let him know what was going on. He also tells us that he did not have a smoke detector in his apartment. He says he knows at least one of his neighbors also did not have a smoke detector in their apartment. He says if it weren't for his dog, he might not have made it out of this fire. He described it to me as a war zone. He said there was so much smoke. He used to be a professional bull rider, and he says that this was one of the worst things he's ever experienced. He said he still can hear right now, hours later, the screams and the choking from people who were in this fire. Right now, we do not have the names of the victims. The Red Cross is helping the survivors. Reporting live in Winchester, I'm Carolyn Callahan, WL. KY News.